Welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Mama's Desk. My name is Sizzlin Train Matovu. But before I go any further, allow me to thank each and every one of you that has made this channel grow. Thank you so much. It's growing in huge and huge numbers each day. And if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe after watching this video. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about part two of the marriage issues you will face after having a baby. Yes, it is part two and how you will solve them. Number five, money will become such a huge stressor. Now that the baby is here, you will have lots of things to do with the money. You will need a lot of money. And when is money enough anyway? We just have to find ways on how to use the money that we have now even with two incomes like when you're both working it is highly unlikely that you will become totally and financially secure after you've had a baby so what do I advise you to do number one you can try to live on one salary for six months or three months it depends on how much you are both earning or how much one of you is earning so you can depend on one salary for three months or two months or six months and then open up a savings account where you will be saving the rest of the paychecks and then number two I want to encourage you to face the real facts of your finances just be honest if you can get the, the the most important things that you need when the baby is you know very little and then you keep the rest or maybe you leave the rest for when the baby is a little bit older lastly you're going to have to cut on your expenditure yeah cut on the movies cut on eating out cut on the vacations and you know all those activities that you're doing previously you know that depends if you're earning a lot of money and you have so many sources of income feel free to do whatever you want but i'm talking to a person who needs to save up and make the right decision issue number six grandparents want a lot of time with your baby a lot of time with your baby or maybe your family or relatives want a lot of time with your baby and remember you have just had this baby you also want to bond you want to be around them so what would you do what would you do in this case I advise you to set boundaries be firm but kind I advise you to choose specific times in a week when they can come and visit your baby or your family and now for relatives who just you know bump in any time of the week please set this specific time so that they can know um, when it is preferable for you and um, for your baby I also advise you to deflect an invitation guilty free uh, choose words like allow me to first check my calendar yeah so you can learn to deflect an invitation and then lastly learn to create more time for them so that they don't so that they become less pushy yeah create more time uh, during the month or during the week or just take the baby to them so that they can become less pushy issue number seven you will have no time of your own at all you know you are used to you know a lot of going to the salon going to do this and that going to the movies going to the to the to the dates so you're going to find yourself cutting a lot of time yeah you're going to find yourself not having enough time of your own so what do i advise you to do number one pick up one item that is critical for your sanity uh, let's say you love reading books or you love uh, taking a stroll in the evening or you love uh, cooking or you love watching um, movies or anything just pick one item that is critical for your sanity next learn to lower your expectations at this time mama but this also goes to the fathers you know the gym time will be affected 
you know, uh, soccer time will be affected because you have to create more time for your wife and for your baby. So lower your expectations. Now that this is new for you, this is new for your wife, you know, just cut down on all that, on all those previous activities. Just design your lifestyle to, uh, to adopt to the new situation. And lastly, I advise you to surrender to the chaos, the wonders of parenthood, and embrace everything wholeheartedly. Now, what chaos? This is good chaos, you know. In the first three months, your baby will be crying a lot. You have to be helpful if you're a husband. Be helpful to your wife. Do not hear the baby crying and then you just keep turning in your bed. You know, surrender to all this chaos, the hospital visits, the reviews, the, you know, pay more attention. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. That is all I had for you today. Remember to tune in for my next video. And how do you do that? Click on that bell so that you can be notified every time I post something new. It might be just for you and remember to subscribe and subscribe to this channel thank you for the love it's been me Susan Shine Matavu see you next time bye